This is a quick video on how to wire up variable speed drive. In this case, it is KB Electronics KBAC 27D. You got a two horsepower motor. I'm going to set it up. Now, in the other video I showed how to get to this point. Of course, you got to put the clips on. Green is going to be your ground, uh, black, red, white. On this side where it says motor, usually start off loosening them all up. important to make sure you don't have little pieces of metal stuck to your screwdriver uh, you don't want any little flakes to get inside of the drive okay I'm gonna bypass setting up the uh, cable glands for now this is just to show how to wire it up so black is gonna go to U red goes to V white to W Now there's little lugs inside that have green screws. The green screws are for grounding. Okay, so we've got the motor hooked up. The drive wheel's already on it. So uh, in this case, it's going to go two horsepower. There are little jumpers right here. These are to set horsepower, uh, two times speed, and other settings. So I'm going to use a two horsepower, so I'm going to move the jumper to the two horsepower setting, which is at number two. This is a 1740 motor. I want to have 36 or 3450 RPM. The way to do this with this motor is to go here. There's a 1x and a 2x. That means one times or two times on the speed. So move the jumper to the two times. Okay, so we've got that set. Next thing to do is wire up the power. Now, this drive will accept 115 or 230 volt. To change the voltage input, you change this jumper wire right here. So in this case, it's already preset to the 230 volt. If you wanted to use 115 volt, you would move this and put it on the 115 volt input. So black would go to AC1. The white is going to go to number two. Connect the ground to the green. Okay. So this is wired up. I'm going to close this a little bit. If I was actually going to finish it off, the cable glands would be coming out here. 
and I would screw it shut but I'm not actually done with it so hook this up okay the status light is turning on which means I've got power um, to start it push up and then turn the dial and in this case the motor is going in reverse I want to change the direction this is common uh, sometimes it you hook up the wires uh, in different order so to get this to go the other direction there's a couple ways to do it one way is to switch the jumpers the other way to switch the direction of this wheel to spin it forward is to reverse any one of these so in this case I'm going to reverse red and white You could also reverse the black and white, uh, just reverse one of them because this is three phase power so all three of them are hot. Okay, close this again, turn the speed all the way down, now turn on the power, it's going to take a little bit for it to get going. This is a two horsepower, 1740 I did set it to run at 3450 now with the two times jumper on it okay we've got power to it again so start it push up and turn the speed up now there we go we've got the motor working it that's how you wire up three phase motor with single phase power okay thanks